Hi everyone, welcome to the 1v1v1 get to the other side race. We have Aggie versus Noodles versus Potato. Um, here in this solo format race, I am Oat. I will be your commentator along with Seth. Hi, hi. Hi, Seth. <laughs> How is everyone oh, doing? Oh, is there an echo? Who's echoing? Um, okay. Well, I'm gonna keep talking. <laughs> Am I echoing? <laughs> Can someone tell me if there Ooh, is there is an echo? <laughs> Who's echoing? You can't just say echo and then stop talking. <laughs> 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 no echo. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, so you can see we have the three runners, um, greens, and then we have a lovely overlay to facilitate your viewing experience as well as our commentating experience so that's going to show the bingo board as well as um tracking the items that the runners have that are relevant and then we're going to try to track the current goal that they're after and if they're looking for any random obtains so we got a lot going on mm -hmm, in this mm -hmm. get to the other side race um and of course, in this format, we start with all of the goals on the left side of the bingo board revealed. And then once you check off a goal on in a column, the goal in the adjacent column in the same row is revealed. Um, so in that way, you have to work your way across the board. And the first one to complete a goal in the rightmost column is the winner. All right, Any it looks questions? like all of our runners are ready. Yippee. I feel like I'm going to go ahead and start the countdown. Now. Do it, Seth. Um, so it looks like we're starting off in Bungle. Bungle. A room with Bungle. literally no checks. <laughs> True. <laughs> um, so. I let's see. Maybe we can look at the bingo board. Yeah, I can um, see that they're kind of hard to read for yeah. everyone, I'm assuming. Um, but reading from the top down, our first one is check or read three lore tablets in teachers' archives. Mm -hmm. the next one down is talk to the fluke hermit. The next one down is open Gigi's hut and buy out Gigi. Four is check Shio. Buy this obtain soul eater or soul catcher. Six is defeat pale lurker. Seven is hit the Oro scarecrow up until the hopper spawn. Eight is talk to Lim in his shop with defender's crest equipped. Nine is obtain high flood or sharp shadow. Ten is check the gome and garpe journal entries. Eleven is obtain god tuner. 12 is obtain two lifeblood charms. And 13 is give flower to elder bug. And so I think all of these objectives require a good number of either movement or either abilities to unlock certain areas. Nothing's going to be super quick. Yeah, for sure. I think it's in these kind of formats, you see it taking a while to get your first goal and then things can kind of snowball um as we kind of mentioned if you like reveal a goal and you've already completed it you can just check it off immediately and um and keep going so yeah. it can kind of snowball sometimes you'll see people doing like goals that are bingo goals that could um could come up on the board but you know like maybe you'll be reading all the the lore tablets in green path just like in case that comes up on the board but it kind of depends mm -hmm. yeah um so yeah everyone yeah. right now is just gonna be looking for random checks uh and seeing if they can find anything that points towards any specific goals mm -hmm. i do believe uh it looks like aggie and potato have picked up vs i don't think noodles went that direction it was at uh the, 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 um, the relic. Mm. 
And we have our first dirt mouth stag check here. Oh, not worth eight geo. <laughs> junk item. I truly, actually, junk pit geo. So I've never actually uh, seen anyone do get to the other side before. I have no idea how long they typically run for. Yeah, um, actually, same. <laughs> <laughs> but if we're going to be honest with y'all, Owen and I just really wanted to commentate together, and this was the only one open. <laughs> yeah. Um, yep. So Usually an we hour do... to hour half. <laughs> yeah, well, the next event is scheduled to start at 8.30 my time, so hopefully this sense. will end up being, <laughs> being around an hour and a half. <laughs> I think it'll be great. Yeah, no, I've done a few bingos, and I've done, um, oh, what was it called? The really long one? Um, I'm forgetting the name. The really long one, it, it was kind of like get to the other side. Um... um Exploration? Exploration, thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's been a while since I've done that. And That's I feel like a this is a point. lot like exploration. It's a variation on the exploration bingo board. Yeah. So, kind of similar. But yeah, there are all different kinds of ways to play bingo. Um, you can do like a battleship format. There's double anti-bingo. There's lockout, which we saw earlier today. Um, exploration has other formats like four corners um so and yeah jamie recently finished a little website to um generate bingo boards all different formats it's very cool jamie's very cool good website um so we have Let's see, Potato and Aggie have made it out into Green Path. Mm -hmm. And Noodle's uh, still in Fungal. I yes, think... Noodle's went right side Fungal. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> We're looking for yeah, a way, yeah. way out here. I think access to some other areas at this point would be good. Figure out what our it's... first movement is going to be. Yeah, I would say it makes sense that Aggie and Potato went to Green Path over clearing out Fungal, since Green Path has more checks that are easily reachable with lower abilities. Um, yeah. So true. Oh, Noodles. Okay, healing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, not too much here so far. Do we... any bets on, uh, Vanilla Dash at Hornet 1? I'm gonna say no. Yeah. No. Not, I wouldn't place a bet there. <laughs> I mean, we're looking for some kind of something. Like, we've already seen autopilot checked, right? So, like, mm -hmm. we need a stag, or we need a dash or we need some other kind of movement, Vertical movement to, yeah. yeah to get out um and no luck in the the lower area of green path yet over by cornifer so we'll see aggie as the first one to foray into i guess west green path mm -hmm. i think i usually say left or right mm-hmm <laughs> I'm I'm really bad at my left and my right, so. Honestly, I think I'd be worse at east and west. Oh, but north is up, and then you just go clockwise from there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. My my brain Uncle doesn't City work very well. <laughs> Noodles just picked that up. At oh, Dash interesting. Mm. That is. That could be progression, actually, at this point. Uh, like, <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, there's a, yeah. There's a few, a few checks on left side city. Um, cause yeah, at this Maybe point they find, they're uh, stinky along the way. Oh my gosh, eyes. 
Um, yeah, there aren't too many uh, checks left up here for Aggie and Potato and Green Path. So this door um, was discovered to have an FSM by someone who forgot that they... Well, someone who accidentally bound their um, A button to kill all in debug and then accidentally killed the door. Um, <laughs> once or twice, and um, then Flib made it into a mod. So we'll see Noodles heading this way to the door. Um, uh, I did see a question. How is City Gate Key different than um, City Crest? It does actually lead to a different area. Um, it leads to City Storerooms, not uh, specifically the like City uh, Crest area. Um, but because I'm assuming they don't have levers randoed, uh, it will give access um, to left side mm -hmm. city. Um, unfortunately, unless they get any vertical movement, they can't get to Sanctum yet. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, and we see noodles here in city. Um, I think maybe they don't know about that pogo to get over to the other side. Oh uh, yeah, you can get pogo to the other a side. background object. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, that's interesting though, because it doesn't look like Noodles has any anything else in logic over there. Um, mm. Oh wait, where do we get dash? Oh oh, oh. Just... yeah. Okay, Green Path Lifeblood. busy thinking about city hmm so unfortunately yeah the fungal city gate key seems to be bait for now it could pay off as city access later if we don't have any other ways into city but um definitely in a format like this where you can be looking for a lot of things for a long time you you really want to have a dash um so, I don't nice think we're going to see anyone go kill the balders, but I don't think anyone did. Do they have a balder killer? <laughs> Technically, they have dream shield. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then Noodle's back in fungal. I guess actually, well, potato. No, sorry. So, yeah, Aggie back just in fungal yes. as well. Mm hmm. Um, I saw a question from the chat. How do you balance clearing, um, like full clearing areas versus uh, <laughs> going to do new checks? I think it's always, always somewhat of a gamble. Thinking about um, all yeah, and I think yeah, it definitely depends on the format. Because I think if it's all majors, like a, a different spoiler format, um, then I think. It depends on how many major items are in each area. Um, but in a format like this, I think really it, it takes like a lot of really quick knowledge of, you know, what checks you have available to you versus remembering what's on the board. And um, so I don't quite know how to speak to that, but I think as always, like it's sometimes, yeah, that's just rando and you make a decision and, you know, it just happens that the random obtain was somewhere that your opponent looked first. So. Mm -hmm. All right, and Aggie and Potato are heading up to Crossroads. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's the Dirtmouth stack. Yeah, so that dash does allow them to get into Crossroads. They could have done a shade skip um, earlier to get up to Leg Eater. And then that is logic. That's out of logic, though, right? Correct. But it's unless skip is on, but <laughs> yeah. Noodles heading back to city. Oh, we're back in city. Okay. Oh. Oh. oh, oh okay. Clean. Okay, so if you don't know, you can just pogo that background object there to get over to the other side. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that, that definitely is a way, a way to do it. Um, very clean fireball. <gasps> Yo, oh, sports room. interesting. So there's a dupe sports room at, 
Um, so we saw Aggie and Potato pick up the Spore Shroom at Leg Eater, and <laughs> Noodles just got the one <laughs> um, at Storeroom Stag, so it's kind of interesting. Um, Vanilla top soul to them. Hmm, interesting too that Potato is back in Green Path. Oh, we had our first goal um, marked off as well, right? Um, my bingo sync does not it, seem to I want see it to load marked properly. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, like I see a goal mark, or maybe is it? It doesn't show in the chat either. Um, <laughs> wait, okay, it's column or five. row five. Sorry, obtain soul eater or soul catcher. Spectator. Spectate. Double click. Oh, okay. Thank you. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Attain Soul Eater or Soul Catcher. <laughs> yeah, we have a very experienced get to the other side or um, keeping track of the bingo board for us. So don't worry. Someone someone in the VC is competent. It's just not me or <laughs> <laughs> Um right, But that uh, opened up. I, you oh. picked up rates. Yeah. Oh, nice. From Salubra. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that goal that Aggie marked off, obtain soul eater or soul catcher revealed in the next column, check nail three. So we will need uh, three pale ore to get that. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh. Gathering There's claw at Sly. Okay. Uh, I didn't get to see everything that was at Grubfather, but I did see elevator pass. I think that was the only, like, progression-y item, unless there's a random obtain that's there later. Nice. So there's our first claw. Um, we have noodles selling to Lem. I don't know if I missed Potato checking, um, Fly and Salubra. Or I don't know if he like rescued Sly and is gonna go back later. Oh, shamans. Nice. Um, but if Potato is uh pushing off or putting off Sly until after Molek, that's kind of interesting. Unless Molek is a boy. Yeah. Not currently. Oh, and we have oh. Shade Cloak in. Oh King's wow. Pass. Uh, Fury. Interesting. Looks like Aggie's heading up to cliffs. Yeah, good move. So Claw opens up a lot of the map. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think that we have a city crest. Um, yet. I don't think we've seen it. So I think that that Fungal City Gate Key is our only city access so far. Yes. Uh, unless, I, I guess again, I didn't see how many grubs Elevator mm -hmm. Path was. Yeah, that's true. Right, Aggie is checking my dad, I mean motto. <laughs> Thorns for free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Elevator Pass was not too many grubs. Um, so it's possible that that's another logical city access. Mm -hmm. Um, but it is going to hurt a little bit if Noodles doesn't head over to Fungal or, um, noodles. Dirtmouth KP area soon. Mm -hmm. They're going to be kind of behind on, on these dashes, these two dashes that we've seen now, so... Are you picking up a simple key? Oh, nice. Actually, There's Soul Eater um, for Potato. That's the goal. Aggie now has... Oh, never mind. It's God Tuner, not God Seeker. Oh. Just one Pale Ore. 
I think that's the second now. one. Yeah. yeah. Second one we've seen. So we need another. One more. Yep. Ooh, another, another simple, simple key. key. Looks like Noodles is heading to Green Path. Maybe? I think so, yeah. I think this is a good call, because, you know, mm -hmm. you go out of logic, but then you kind of run out of things to do yeah. pretty quickly then, in the city. Unless you're going to start then, doing shade skips. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Potato is heading to uh, Sly and Sluber. Also, I just remembered, when you asked me if we, they had a Balder Killer and I said Dream Shield, they actually did have VS at the time. Oh, true. That was pretty early. But, you know, you were also... You weren't wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking of the showmanship. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Potato purchasing World Sense at Salubra, that could very well be a goal later on on the board. So I think things like that make sense. But then... You are spending Geo when you could also purchase your Shade Soul. Also purchasing uh, Shade Soul, yeah. Yeah. Was there a choice between Shade Soul and Wraiths? Um, I just think with when you also have to go check Sly, yeah. So mm -hmm. saving Geo there was a good call. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, Stagna Stag for seven grubs. Okay, good to know. Thanks. Yeah, so Potato has obtained Soul Eater. Um, and so maybe we can note about Grubs. Um, so in formats like this, to limit the number of random obtains that runners might have to do, Grubs are usually randomized in their own pool. So. Um, technically the grubs are random, um, but you'll see grubs at locations that normally have grubs at them. Just so it's a little bit easier to get those items that end up being at, at Grub Father. Mm -hmm. I'm going hmm. back for Shade Soul. Or Streak. Oh, King's Brand is also there. Yeah, King's Brand is there. Um, Blue yeah, Bra. so I'm kind of wondering what's next for Potato here. I guess there's more Fungal to do. I think, I don't think we saw Cliff's, um, super paying off for Aggie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but also I don't know if Aggie wow. finished checking wow. all of Cliff's. Wow. Wow. Um, they might have just done KP... No, we did see Aggie go to Mato. Tomato, tomato. There is an acid skip. Uh, Very nice. Crossroads to um, Fog Canyon, right? Yeah, the With, one from um, any person. Mm, no, a different one. You, to, you need dash and fireball. Uh, I remember if that's possible or not. Is it in the same place as the any percent yes, one? Yes, or place. With just dash and fireball? And claw. Um, I think if you had a shade, you could do like a dash situation. You just would need something to pogo. You can okay. do dash wings over there. Yeah. We do have claw, though. I've done that before, actually. Um... Long, long ago. Oh, shot key. Ooh. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, it's a little hard to tell where progression is pointing because we have Aggie following up on this dash with like lower left green path. Um, and then Potato heading, you know, with the claw. Oh my gosh, saying hi to Moss Prophet. Thank you. Potato. Potato bowing to Moss Prophet. One, because I'm here, obviously, but two, also because that could be a bingo goal later. Um, but Potato following up on the claw and heading into Deep Nest, so either way could be progression. We'll see what this shop key is. Another pale ore. Another pale ore. 
Oh, yeah. Sharp Shadow, and that is a quest. Or quest. Ooh, uh, nice. Objective. Yeah. Which unlocked uh, row nine. Visit Lake of Un or Blue Lake. Which I believe... Oh, yeah. Yes, Looks like almost. Aggie's heading straight to Blue Lake. Blue Lake. Shade skip content. Oh, no. Aggie died. Oh, no. Um, so we have Potato heading into Deep Nest here. I think, you know, it's really hard to say. It's, I think both of these are very valid, um, very valid things to do. Okay, Obtain right, Shade so Soul is the next goal. And that, we know where Shade Soul is. Yeah. Because Aggie doesn't have it yet. Um, that also unlocked in row 10, check the Stag Nest Vessel Fragment. And in row eight, check Shape of Un. Yeah, I think Aggie is maybe hurting for Geo a little bit at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe that's why she's not going directly to Salubra to get that Shade Soul. Because, yeah, we did see that. Grub checks. Oh, there's, there's elevator, elevator pass. pass. Okay, yeah. So maybe Aggie's gonna head the city and sell some relic. The Grubfather Geo is nice too, but I don't know that that's enough. Um, not yeah, not not with this few grubs. Um, I guess we saw Potato do half of the goal in row 10, column 1, check the Gome and Garpede journal entries, yeah. but of course the Gome journal entry cannot be checked until you have died. Yep. So. Potato now heading uh, to King's Pass and Cliffs. <gasps> Ooh. And reminder that Shade Cloak is at Fury. Okay, so the oat check. Was resting ground stag, which could be big. Could be big. We have no idea what's it. What's it's here? Bingo is back! Yay! So Noodle's making their way to Upper Green Path now. Mm -hmm. So we should see them picking up that dash pretty soon. We have Aggie in City via the Elevator Pass and then Potato in Clip. Yep. We'll see if Aggie goes to Sanctum after selling. Well. I guess no. They'll be heading to Shade Soul. But Sanctum is now uh, accessible. So yeah, lots to do in City now that we have a dash and a claw. Um, I guess also we didn't see anybody do like False Knight, Ancestral Mound stuff. So it's possible nope. that there is more stuff there, but I think now we're at a point where like the map is pretty open, like relatively open, you know. There is enough to do for now that you're not kind of wondering where your progression is. Um, and there's Dash for Noodles. Let's go. Everyone has Dash now. Yippee. I don't remember if we saw Aggie do Balder Shell earlier. Um... Uh, I believe so. I do not remember what it was, though. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I do remember that. Also, so you saw an item just uh, pop out of that chest above the balders, the balder shell balders. And that's because more locations is on. Um, so there are additional locations added to the randomizer. Um, oh, Maggie, please. Um, like the stag nest egg and the balder shell chest. Potato back in green path. Alright, and then with this, Aggie now has Shade Soul. Unlocking three new of goals. In row eight, kill do two different maggots. Uh, in row nine, obtain glowing womb or weaver song. And in ten, check Isma's tier. Nice. I believe we'll be heading up to kill the maggots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that makes sense as a as a good way to go. So it's also worth mentioning um, in this format, we aren't looking for the runners to get any kind of ending to the game we're just looking for that uh the win condition of checking completing a goal in the rightmost column so um rushing goals as aggie is doing here is an excellent play and this will be our first look at these checks um over here in crossroads behind false knight where was claw again Seth? fly oh yes you're right and was it shop key sly or Regular sly. Right, uh, regular sly. And then I guess uh, Potato has... Right, Potato has... Uh, visited Blue Lake, or, uh, Lake of Honor Blue Lake and obtained Shade Soul. Ooh, yeah, and Potato able to check off um, checking the Stagnet's Vessel Fragment. So we've opened up Get All of the Seer Checks and Check Isma's Tier. Um, which, hmm, <laughs> yeah, get all the seer checks. That could be a lot of essence. Um, I'm sure there's Aggie. a maximum set. <laughs> Aggie has killed two maggots, nice. uh, which is unlocked. Equip five charms at the same time and talk to Emilicia. Now checking uh, mound. You know, I think it's kind of following the same route Aggie is currently on. Mm -hmm. I believe Noodles is probably heading up to crossroads now. Let's see, can we do five charms? That's four. Oh yeah, it looks like Aggie has checked off. Equip five charms at the same time, so we've opened up check slash free all grubs and waterways, which is one gold back, which um, wouldn't really get us anywhere. Open the dirt mouth, crystal peak, elevator, and ride the stag to Queen's Gardens. All right, and then uh, Aggie has just picked up a lantern. It was at Resting Ground Stag. I believe Sierra only had two or three checks. Yeah, that was not very many. Um, potato but, uh, killing two maggots. See, didn't see how many that like how much how high color the cost was. Oh, true. Yeah, there was a white fragment and an egg, but 
I didn't pay attention to the amount of effort. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Noodle's still looking for their first goal. I did not know... Um, like, I haven't really... I didn't pay attention to where Sharp Shadow was. I want to say, like, it might have been at Crossroads Stag. Um, so hopefully we see... it was at Lubra. Shop key? Oh, okay. And I don't think oh, we fine. have a high blood, so... Um... Yeah. Right. Um... Aggie having lantern is on uh, their way to peak. With claw, that's a lot. You can do a lot here. Oh, and there's noodles on the board. Right, looks oh, like Tato is heading either. to okay. to oat check and then down to city. Yeah, it's definitely a good point that all of these earlier goals, a lot of them are random obtained, so mm -hmm. they are in nature random. Um, which is why, like, sort of towards the beginning, you know, you want to be getting movement, but mainly your goal is just to do checks as fast as you can. Mm -hmm. um, and probably generally to stay in logic, but you know, we do a little out of logic as a treat. So I know we saw the stag nest egg somewhere. I don't know if Aggie picked it up. Um, maybe they don't think it's worth to get that goal going down, but I think Tato's strategy of trying to open up as much of the board as they can is good. Mm -hmm. Um, because also the thing is we're spectating, so we can see all the goals, like, across all the players, but the players can only see the goals that they've opened up. Mm -hmm. Um, so for instance, Noodles right now can only see check nail three in addition to the leftmost column, so, um... I think I think opening goals or unlocking revealing goals revealing goals is a is a good play if they're easy things to do. I think in this format, um, the players can see if another player has marked a goal. Yeah, but it doesn't reveal the goal to them. Oh, the columns, but not the goals specifically. Okay, that makes sense. I think that's what we were seeing when we first started, before we hit spectate. Yeah. Um, we have seen, I saw Fragile Strength somewhere, and then there's Fragile Heart. Um, in Crystal Peak, so... Uh, we haven't seen... We have Cliff's access, we don't have a Dream Nail, we haven't seen Grim Child. Um, so the Fragile Charms could be a bingo goal, or they could lock something later, or both. Um, we will see. We have Potato in City. Oh, are we getting a sketch jump from Potato? Wait, no. You can't do sketch jump without wings. Where's Potato gone? Oh, we have a nail art. Very nice, simple lever skip into right side city. Love to see it. Oh, and Noodles trying to skip up to check the nail smith. Um, you can pogo a fly up here. As long as you don't fall in a pit, or kill your Vengefly, or both.
Very nice. Yeah, I mean, I think part of doing as many checks as fast as you can is, you know, checking shops early. They are very dense. Uh, densely packed with checks. Nail upgrade at nail one. That's the dearest homophony. Oh, swim. Swim at nail two. So that is check nail three for noodles. Um, oh, and then Aggie has checked off two more goals while I wasn't looking at the board. <laughs> um, so we've got obtain carefree melody for noodles, check slash read both floor tablet tablets in Soul Sanctum. And then Aggie checking off open the dirt mouth slash crystal peak elevator and defeat crystal guardian one. Very convenient that those goals were right next to each other. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we have Defeat False Knight and Brooding Malek, which it looks like Aggie is headed to do that now. Defeat Elder Who. Defeat Two Dream Warriors have all unlocked. Um, I kind I of wonder... We, had... we haven't seen Dream Nail anywhere, have we? I don't think so. Oh, and there's Claw for Noodles. Um, looks like Potato heading to Basin. I was sort of wondering if Potato was going to check Nail 3, um, or if Potato's sort of doubling down on the kind of lower middle part of the board. Ooh, very nice! Spike Tunnel. Ooh, but not, not really a way to get further into Isthmus Grove. I believe it might be possible with the recast. Definitely four. Maybe, uh, be, be yeah. Full scroll. I have seen it happen. However, I'm pretty sure <laughs> you get stuck on the other side too. Yeah. Because you have you... no way to make it up onto that wall. Yeah. You got to shade skip at some point. I don't know. And then you have to do the spike tunnel again if you don't have dream game. <laughs> mm -hmm. So can be kind of rough. We do have a shaman stone, which is nice to have. Um, it could come up as a random obtain at some point later. And we have Potato and Pleasure House, which I think is a reasonable play. We saw, um, oh, Aggie Mismar. Uh, oh, I see. Oh, wait, what do we do about that? Because, yeah, I was kind of wondering how Aggie got to the elevator without C dash. Um, because you have to either C dash out from Cornifer or C dash over from KP door. Mm. So Aggie would need to do the goal later on. Okay, and then stop progressing goals. Um. We have we have someone on it. No fear, chat. <laughs> All right, Haggy. Nope. Okay. Um. Oh, there's a green path stag in city, which not very useful. Oh, a lantern in resting ground. So this is following up on that resting ground stag that mm -hmm. we saw earlier, which we've already seen Aggie do, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Aggie is now heading to deep nest. Aggie, don't die. We saw Potato push a little into deep nest, but... Um... Uh, Ooh. well, Potato did not have lantern at the time. Aggie does. Yeah. True. I don't think Potato made it up to um, Tram Pass either. Oh my gosh, Aggie also saying hello to Moss Prophet. You love to see it. <laughs> um, 
Um, it looks like... Let's see. Obtain Glowing Womb or Weaver Song is... Um... I think the only, like, random obtain... I mean, talk to Emilisha, you need a tram pass, right? And a bunch of other things. Mm -hmm. Check as Miss Tear again, you need, like, a C dash or some kind of vertical. Okay. Aggie making it down to the bench. Hopefully. Um, and there's our bingo board back. Yay. So we haven't seen these checks yet that Potato is doing above um, King Station here. Mm -hmm. Deep focus for one. Judas is heading to Malek. Uh, so, hope we pick up shamans on the way. Yeah, it is quite unfortunate. Noodle's still not having their claw. Um, I believe Noodle's picked up claw. Oh. Did Noodle's go to slide yet? Uh, Noodle's has claw. Okay, I lied. Sorry. I'm lying okay. on the internet. <laughs> go Noodle's. Wait, okay, I registered when that happened. It's just so much has happened since then that I forgot. We have Gigi. Potato checking GG. I do like these simple key checks from Potato. We saw two or three simple keys very early. Um, it's a little bit trickier that this is not an item sync, because mm -hmm. in item sync you get two keys and you're you're good to go. But um, here we'll need to find all four keys. Well, potentially. Um, You're also trying to decide where to go, what checks to get. Mm -hmm. Claw does open up like quite a lot of the map, so mm -hmm. it's very reasonable. Combined with trying to think about like what goals you're pursuing. Yeah. I, but, like uh, there's a lot not, going on. Needles, however, just does not get to see that many goals. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the goals available to Noodles right now. Defeat Hornet 2, obtain Carefree Melody, check, read, both lore tablets in Soul Sanctum. I guess maybe if I was Noodles, that's where I would go, or I would do what they're doing and keep looking for random obtains. But since they do have Claw, um, and they got over to that city bench uh, earlier, they do have Sanctum Stenja. access. So... I guess you can't read the other lore tablet in Sanctum without dives, so forget that I said that. But maybe there's a dive in Sanctum. Don't you love it when that happens? <laughs> yeah. I love it when there's dive in Sanctum and uh, a Balder Killer in Mound. <laughs> Monomon at Nail 3. Or Nail 4. If you bring me three pieces of pale ore, I can forge you Mon Mon. Simple key at Flower Quest. Alright, not choosing to give uh, Elderbug Flower, which, you know, is totally fair. Um, was that not checking Nail 3 for Potato? I think it was. Um, but that could be, that could be a fourth key. Obviously that one is not currently in Logic, but... Wait, we have a dive. No, we don't. Do we have a dive? Does Aggie have, have a dive? Oh, Aggie got into crypts via the elevator. 
-hmm. Yeah, they just need to check nail three. They don't need Wait, to get Aggie it. Wait, must have dive. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Where I don't know where that was. Where did Aggie pick up dive? <laughs> Apparently it was a while ago. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, somewhere. Aggie had died for Mong. Aggie also obtained the God Tuner. Huh. At some point. <laughs> well, yeah. Hopefully, Potato realizes soon that Check Nail Three is on the board um yeah probably from peak that's the only area we've really seen aggie in that nobody else has gone to oh, potato back at sly another pale ore um is this potato heading back to the nailsmith or in the sanctum maybe well, Potato doesn't have dive. Maybe Potato didn't do rafters. Yeah, true. There's not, there's not really. Oh, Potato there's has blowing a womb. blowing womb. Which unlocks break three floors using dive and check or free grubs in Queen's Gardens. All Ooh. grubs in Queen's Gardens. If uh, if potato can find dive wherever Aggie found it. Mm-hmm. Or if there's another dive in waterways. Which there totally could be. Um, I feel like we've seen a lot of eggs as well. Um, oh, and we might uh, see Potato Rescue Breta here. Fragment. I don't remember what G husk had. Um, I must have checked it. Oh, that was green pass tag. Aggie yeah, heading up to House of Pleasure. And I think we have Noodles headed to um, Lake of Un here. Which, this makes sense. Again, opening up more goals. Like, mm -hmm. letting yourself have more possibilities for ways to make it across the board, I think, is a good idea. Um, so that'll unlock Obtain Shade Soul, which Noodles can immediately check off. Um, and so they'll have just revealed Kill Two Different Maggots, Obtain Glowing Womb or Weaver Song, and Check Isma's Tear for themselves. Aggie right, is heading down to Basin. I think the dive definitely gives Aggie an advantage here, um, just based on the goals that we're seeing and overall like progression and everything. If it is quirky logic um, of some kind, then being able to go into lower waterways is pretty nice. Um, there's swim for noodles. Oh, 
Oh, and Potato headed into Kingdom's Edge. Let's see, we haven't really found any movement besides two dashes and a claw, right? So we're... No, yeah. We haven't seen wings, sea dash. We do have swim. Um, sea dash would help with some objectives. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just realized I made everybody stream with the tracker and we didn't need them to stream with the tracker. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> Alright. Um, What's that fountain? Drum roll. Ooh, so a white edge. fragment. Yeah. It's actually gone. worth it. Wow. Well, I mean, maybe worth it. Remember, we don't need an ending. We just need goals. It could get them checks, though. If there's, like, birthplace. Mm-hmm. Progression. Oh, also spend 5,000 Geo. Very true. Um, that is a bingo goal. That could be on the board. I don't think it's currently something we can see, but could be there later. Um, and we do have noodles heading into Sanctum. Oh, potato abandoning edge back in green path. Give me no eyes, no eyes. Uh, check, background check. I think we don't have did, a dream nail press. either. We do not have dream nail yet. Yeah. Noodles is heading to Sanctum. I think Find that's reasonable. Yeah, I think with early city access and dash claw, kind of makes sense. You kind of don't want to go to Sanctum until you get a dive, but sometimes your dive is just in Sanctum. Um, oh yeah, Noodle's picking up Hera as well. Oh, there's Cyclone at the Abyss Shriek check. I don't think we have any lifeblood yet, so... No, I don't think so either. Um... Aggie also looking to be headed into Sanctum. Potato with Shea Cloak is going right side Fog Canyon. Ooh, the double dunk. Are the archives lore tablets on the board? Uh, yes. They are, but... Yeah, I guess we'd need a C-dash or an Isma's mm -hmm. for the last one. But, I mean, benching an archive is probably still a good idea. Aggie is back at Sanctum. Maybe she missed a check? Pantomas, Gio! Tito is picking up wraiths. And probably shriek. Yep. Oh, also and King's Brand. And do we have noodles headed to waterways? Go 
following that King's Brand down to Basin. Huh, I wonder where these other dives are. Oh, oh no, Aggie. Aggie. Soul Master is so rude. Did I say Potato is heading to Basin? I thought Potato was heading to Basin. Um, but I don't remember if I said it. So we'll see Aggie Bye. able to do more checks here after Soul Master, uh, because they have died. So maybe some of those will pay off, but like Noodles is heading up to Watchers. Ooh. Oh, and there was a, a Wings. From Soul Sanctum. For Noodles. That's our uh, first movement we've seen in a while. Sanctum? It says Monarch Wings from Soul Sanctum. Oh. Where did... It could be at um, Soul Master and Aggie is just about to pick it up. Oh, okay, oh Sanctum okay. Geo Chest. Oh, fighting watchers without dream nail is a little rough. Um, but noodles has void spells, so they should be all right. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm not comms cursing. I'm not. I'm not. It's the spore shroom strats. It's the spore shroom strats. Look at this. Noodles has got it. All right. Oh, okay, yeah, up wings. there's the wings. Oh. It's hard without a dive, so if they're bouncing, you just have to kind of <laughs> jump out <laughs> of the way, <laughs> which is unfortunate. Um, and then Aggie getting into dive locked sanctum here, so these will be some new checks. I don't know if Potato is going to be able to show us anything new in the abyss. Ugh, oh, see, look, I told you noodles would be fine. Oh, a grub song. Another pale ore, which I guess we won't need um, unless there's something in black egg or at white defender i don't remember um so the settings have no skips in logic but i don't remember if there are dupes i think that there might be so there could be a dupe dreamer um but we might need that dreamer Ooh, potato going for this claw only sibling climb. Which is definitely doable, but always a bit annoying. Dash two. Yeah, true. Claw death. It is kind of rude that the wings are in Sanctum, but not dive lock. Mm -hmm. Um, because I I have a feeling potato will not be going to Sanctum for for a bit. Didn't we see another cyclone somewhere else? Is that am I, I remembering that correctly? I do not believe so. I thought we had, because Potato just picked one up in the Abyss, and I thought that Noodles also had a Cyclone from somewhere else. Um, I could be wrong. Okay, so Aggie able to mark off Check Nail 3 as well.
it seems like Aggie and Potato are focused on sort of that lower half of the board. Um, mm -hmm. Aggie got Cyclone at Shriek check. Yes, that's that sounds right, Cyclone. That is correct. <laughs> oh, Grimchild from the Abyss. Wait. Was that at uh, Void Tendril's journal entry? Ooh. Okay, then that's a dupe Shopki, right? Mm hmm. Hmm. We've already seen Shopki. We have. I don't believe there's any in there except for a Pale Ore. Yeah. This is really interesting because, yeah, it seems like the dupes are pretty available to us, but they're not really a lot of progression. Like, does Wings Dive say anything specifically to you? I guess maybe Peak, right? Wings Dive, yeah. Like, I'm doing Peak, I'm, I'm going to Crown. <laughs> We're having Bretter Lord flashbacks. <laughs> Why aren't there 30 Sporgs in the Bretter Room? <laughs> this is so strange. <laughs> what happened to the lore tablet next to the Dash Master statue? Um, it would be kind of a bummer if there was something just waiting to be picked up over here in Right Fungal where Potato is. I guess edge makes remember. sense. It's just a key, but yeah. I don't think else being here. I don't think anyone did. Anyone do Mantis Village? Uh, no. This is our first look from Potato. Um, this is also our first look at the Oro dive checks, which I think, if you think Wings dive, that does. There are quite a few checks in Edge that you can get to. Mm -hmm. Um. Lurian at Oro Dive 1. So that's all three dreamers. Oh, and there's a D Dark. Okay, so a Dive Lock Dive. You love to see it. <laughs> oh, Noodle's also in Mantis Village. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it looks like it hasn't really paid off so far. There could be something behind Mantis Lord. Just give us a little bit of access mm -hmm. to a couple checks and deepness as well. Yeah, we're getting double Mantis Lord's content right now. would ever forget to check this lifeblood. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, there's a king soul. Under Oro at that Soul Totem check. Aggie giving us some 420 rock content. Um, and we'll see over here from Potato whether this Mantis Lord's fight was worth it. Aggie heading directly to birthplace. Incredibly valid. King Station Stag not doing much for us. Soul refill. And 
Yeah, King's is left. worth... Well, no, we saw Noodles go to right side with um, Dash Claw already. So they just went like up and over the part where uh, Potato had lever skipped earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my gosh, sibling climb. <laughs> that must be it. <laughs> sibling elevator, Being sorry. Sig <laughs> sibling climb. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, so. What was over here? I've waited tendrils. Grimchild is over Grim here. Grimchild is what it is. Yes. Okay. Um, and we have Potato heading further into Deep Nest. Um, I think Noodle's heading into Fungal Core. Yep. Um, I think both are good plays. Fungal Core is going to land you in the same place um, as just where Potato came through, but you get to do some extra checks along the way. So this is good if there was anything wings locked, which we got one more check. Um, Tato is over charming to head to lifeblood core. Uh, yeah, I guess you can only check the actual lifeblood. Oh, tram pass at the fungal core mask shard. Oh, that could be huge. That, yeah. Um, yeah, so that is Wings Lock. And Tram Pass locks quite a few checks. Um, yeah, if Noodles could see it, that would be... Um, Amalisha. Oh, true. Yeah. And Noodles famously... Oh, actually, yeah. You Noodles know, can't see it. Oh, true. Noodles famously runs... Um, the all skills Emilisha route, so um, it would be very on brand to see them go talk to Emilisha. Oh, there's a love key at Distant Village Stag. Wow, interesting. Okay, I was not really on board with Potato's um, Lifeblood Core uh, check, but DV Stag is nice. I guess not completely necessary because we do have Lantern and Claw. And deep nest access, um, but it is very convenient. Right, I mean, um, and I did get King Soul. Oh, okay. And so I was nice. checking birthplace. We had Great Slash at the uh, rock or egg, uh, and then we'll see what climb is. Lore. Lore. How fitting. <laughs> How fitting. Ooh, okay, I just noticed the time. Um... Might be running a little long. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing we started early. Mm -hmm. Well, I know one runner uh, for the next show is okay with going <laughs> a little late. <laughs> <laughs> um... Sorry for the typing sound. All right, so Aggie has just picked up Weaver Song. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, had, which unlocked Break Three Floors Using Dive, which unlocked Check Nail Two, which unlocked Obtain Three King's Idols, which unlocked Ooh. Obtain Two Nail Arts, which unlocked interact with three <laughs> corner for locations. <laughs> wow. That's quite a lot of things. And Aggie is able to go dream nail um, Willow's meal. Mm -hmm. No, we don't have a no, dream, nail. dream nail. Ugh. So uh, real quick, just to go through everything that was also unlocked, <laughs> use two simple keys, uh, attain all three fragile charms, Take a bath in four different hot springs. Ride the stag to King Station. Dream nail. Dream nail. Will <laughs> meal. Dream nail. Enter got home. Oh my gosh! Really? Yeah. Where was Data it? just where picked where? it up at QG Stag. Sorry. Oh, and the nice. QG Stag was in Weaver's Den. Oh, okay. Anyways. Um, also, yeah, I get two like... dreamers checks. Get all three. Get all. Get all the Grubfather checks. Kill a light seed. Talk to cloth and check Hollowness Crown. 
Aggie also marked kill a light seed and unlocked defeat Loskin. Whew. And then wasn't wait. Did, wasn't well, there a stag to Queen off. Station? Uh, Queen's Gardens? Yes. Ride the stag to Queen's Gardens. Row six, column three. Um so Potato has checked it off, but I think it doesn't really like Aggie's so far to the right now. So we see them picking up all the Grubfather checks. Um, they already have Vengeful Spirit, so they can check that off immediately. And then that opens up a few more things. Obtain Fluke Nest or Fury of the Fallen. Get two Dreamers checks. Check Crystal Heart slash the Beast's Den Trilobite. And complete either ending of the Cloth questline. Um, right. So Aggie in a very good position here. Although I would say Potato has picked up like quite a few items that could like mm -hmm. also noodles with the tram pass like we don't know whether that will come into play we could very much still have a race but yeah it um, looks like aggie is heading to beast in okay i like that He's where were wings is, is sanctum right. geo chest i just don't sanctum. know where the first die was <laughs> yeah it was somewhere in peace but the wings was not yeah. dive lost, though. No. Which is probably why Potato doesn't. That was exciting. <laughs> it was. So much happened, <laughs> all at once. Sea Peak Geochester. Um, and we have noodles in waterways headed towards Dung Defender. I don't think that no, we've seen that. this. We have not. Oh, a potato! Oh! oh. 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 No. Yeah, we have not a sea dash in sight on the board here. Um, Maggie has uh, enough skills to skip Beast in. Or skip trap bench. True. Checking stag first. Where Aggie will pick up the love key. Lucky. Um, and I don't think we saw Potato in Beast Den. I think Potato just headed into Dark Deep Nest, right? Um, yes. Okay. Um, which I think that's fine. But Aggie coming directly here to rush goal. So they're right. able to check oh. off slash the Beast Den Trilobite. Very nice. Checking the charm menu. We've obtained Dream Wielder or Dream Shield. We actually started with Dream Shield. Oh, very true. And then we've defeated Soul Master. So Aggie is one goal away. Um, actually, did Aggie do Vengeful King and Massive I... Moss Charger? I know we've seen a couple Moss Chargers. Because that is uh, a really nice line. Like, that is. I, yeah. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. So. Hollow D's in chat for Aggie's oh, final boss fight, <laughs> Bench Fly King. <laughs> <laughs> I knew Bench Fly King was the final boss. All along. <laughs> <laughs> Not a straight line. Angie. Yippee! GG Aggie! GG! Um, so I think, um, let's see, I will leave it up to our restreamer whether we have time for interviews or we want to just move to getting set up for the next race. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, the next race is... Oh, very true. Aggie is the next race. Um... Okay. Then I guess I'm making an executive decision that we're starting on time. So I think we don't have time for interviews. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot we have to do a restreamer swap. Um, wow, what a great race. What a great race. Yeah, that was a lot of fun to watch. Um, thanks to all the racers. Thanks uh, to L, who has restreamed most of Rando Day and will be tagging out now. And um, we'll have Aggie take over the restream and we'll be back with a four player cursed item sync. I'm just going to be. Uh, a lot of fun. <laughs> I picked some terrible settings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited. Cool. All See right. you back here See in a few minutes. Bye.